Hello dear students welcome back to another session of learning english literature today we are going to read an extract taken from nelson mandela's autobiography long walk to freedom i quote i have fought against white domination and i have fought against black domination i have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities it is an ideal which i hope to live for and to achieve but if needs be it is an ideal for which i am prepared to die unquote so this was taken from one of his speeches from the dog coat by nelson mandela on 20th April 1964 Long Walk to Freedom is the 1994 autobiography of Nelson Mandela detailing his ascent from an anti-apartheid activist and Robben Island jail terrorist to ANC leader and a cultural icon the only memoir published during Mandela's life the book is a testament to the greatness of the first black president of south africa let's talk something about nelson mandela rohila mandela was born into the mandiba clan in the village of mwazo in the eastern cape on 18 july 1918 his mother was non kafi nosenkini and his father was Nikosi Fakani Siva Gadla Mandela principal counselor to the acting king of the Thembu people hearing the elder stories of his ancestors wela during the wars of resistance he trained also of making his own contribution to the freedom struggle of his people He completed his BA through the University of South Africa and went back to Fort Hare for his graduation in 1943. In 1952, he was chosen as national volunteer in chief of the defiance campaign as his deputy. This campaign of civil disobedience against six unjust laws. children his life was not smooth at all he had lots of struggle throughout his life to attain freedom which he successfully did moving ahead let's talk more about nelson mandela's life Mandela was arrested in a countrywide police swoop on 5 December 1956 which led to the 1956 treason trial. On 11 January 1962 using the adopted name David Motsemai Mandela secretly left South Africa. He was charged with leaving the country without a permit and inciting workers to strike. On 11 June 1964, Mandela was convicted and the next day was sentenced to life imprisonment. On 12th August 1988, he was taken to hospital where he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. He was released from its gates on Sunday 11 February 1990. So we all can see children that he has gone through many ups and downs in his life. It's only because he was determined he had strong will power to achieve and to fight for his countrymen. And he did it with his courage. Now let's have a look at the system which he fought against. 
and that system was apartheid system translated from the africans meaning apartness apartheid was the ideology supported by the national party government and was introduced in south africa in 1948 Apartheid called for the separate development of the different racial groups in South Africa. On paper, it appeared to call for equal development and freedom of cultural expression, but the way it was implemented made this impossible. Apartheid made laws force the different racial groups to live separately and develop separately and grossly unequally too. It tried to stop all intermarriage and social integration between racial groups. During apartheid, to have a friendship with someone of a different race generally brought suspicion upon you or worse. More than this, apartheid was a social system which severely disadvantaged the majority of the population. simply because they did not share the skin color of the rulers many were kept just about destitution because they were non white let's talk about some other important laws prohibition of mixed marriages act in 1949 immorality amendment act 1950 separate representation of voters act in 1951 resistance to apartheid came from all circles and not only as is often presumed from those who suffered the negative effects of discrimination criticism also came from other countries and some of these gave support to the south african freedom movements some of the most important organizations involved in the struggle for liberation were the african national congress the pan africanist congress the inkatha freedom party the black consciousness movement and the united democratic front it's rightly said by nelson mandela i quote we can change the world and make it a better place it is in our your hands to make a difference unquote so this shows how determined he was let's have a look at the theme of the chapter the lesson pays tribute to those black heroes and patriots who waged a relentless struggle against the apartheid or the racist regime of south africa here we find description of the inauguration ceremony held in the union buildings attended by politicians and dignitaries from more than 140 countries Nelson Mandela gives a message of peace and unity of mankind. He foresees a new regime which will be based on the equality of men and women. He hopes that in the new regime there will be no exploitation of man by man. There will be no room for racialism and segregation in the new order. So yes, if we look at the title it's thoroughly justified. long walk to freedom as it brings out the long seemingly endless road in jail that mandela had had to travel for the cause so dear to him justice he spent most of his time fighting for an equal society not just for his 
black countrymen but because it is the right of every human being in this world falsely accused for 27 years mandela a politician prisoner tells his saga of how the african national congress struggled and succeeded to get him out of a prison cell he had people's unstinted support as they backed his ideas and methods and this popularity led mandela to become the president of south africa after walking for so long let's have a look at the main points discussed in the chapter this chapter talks about the first non racial government it has mandela's inauguration speech which was quite powerful and inspiring it talks about impressive display of jets that sense of history it talks about the policy of apartheid and the struggle of comrades and the twin responsibilities of mandela and his joining of african national congress so this were these are the main points that we all need to go through as far as this chapter is concerned now let's have a look at the message i hope it's clear to everyone if i talk about this autobiography or this extract taken from nelson mandela's autobiography it conveys a strong message of justice and equality it also conveys simultaneously that courage persistence and fortitude and an indomitable will to pursue the truth can never fail mandela conveys with unshakable conviction that love and not hate comes naturally to humans and any system that goes against this natural tendency creates a class of oppressor and the oppressed and breeds injustice cruelty and eventually great sorrow so that was all about the chapter i hope the theme the title and the message that has been conveyed is clear to everyone thank you so much for listening